Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction today, guys. I'm checking out Marvel's The Punisher official trailer number two that dropped earlier today. And finally, this fucking trailer gives us the goddamn release date. Finally, November 17th, same day as Justice League. If you're seeing Justice League, here's what I recommend. Watch it the night before, Thursday night preview screening, and then on Friday when the show drops on Netflix, start watching it. It's a win-win. That's what I'm going to do, so I recommend doing that if you're going to be checking out both on that weekend. So, that further ado, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get into it now. Marvel's The Punisher official show number two. Let's get into it and see what they show us, guys. Let's fucking go. Gentlemen, I'm the only authority you will need. I point. The one again. The one. One. <laughs> Jesus. Did you kill the target? Oh, you see? Things over there were different. What we were doing was wrong. You did what you were supposed to do, right? Now, the only person you're punishing is yourself. Frank Castle. One again. I got something I need to show you. I saw the video files. The U.S. military told uh. you a hitman, Frank. I'm looking for Frank Castle. Very dark. But obviously, that's what is expected. Castle's the last witness. We can either clean this up or let them take us down. Oh, you may get to me. So good. What? Oh, my God, Karen. God damn. So where does that end, Frank? What are you exposed to? These men, they decide what the truth is. The same thing that happened to you happened to you. We could make that right. Oh. Whoa. Hmm. Jesus Christ! What was that? <laughs> Man. There's so much going on in that trailer, but, uh... Whoo! Uh, we saw a lot more footage that time. Um... I, I honestly I think the Punisher is probably going to be on the level of like Daredevil and Daredevil season two, like both the seasons of Daredevil. I think it's going to be on the same quality. It's going to be uh, looked at as one of the best Netflix shows that Marvel has done. I mean, it looks so intense, and that's what we want. We want the intensity. We want that violence. We want to see. The show get really dark. We want to see Frank Castle get dark and get revenge. And they were doing a lot of hinting at, you know, the death of his family, which is going to be brutal to watch. I don't know how much they're going to show of that, but, man, it's not going to be pretty. And what I like about this show is that it's not just covering, okay, what happens after Daredevil Season 2, after he departs. It's covering his backstory. It's covering his origin. And to some, it's like, do we really need to, in the sense of the fact that they didn't go into, they went into detail in Daredevil Season 2, but they didn't go into too much detail to the point where it's not needed, it's just rehashing. No, they have to really cover it because it all ties in with the main villain. It all ties in with all the things they're going to be setting up for the Punisher. They have to show the origin. They have to show the unfortunate, the thing he has to go through, the tragedy he has to go through. It looks so good. It does. And seeing Karen is pretty good. I, I I'm I I'm I don't know if they've released what is the timeline with this because I think the events are taking place after Daredevil season two, but does it take place after the Defenders or before the Defenders? I don't know. There's a lot of gray area. If it takes place after the Defenders, then I'm okay with that because then hey, um, it will explain a, a couple of things. But 
if it takes place in between Daredevil Season 2 and The Defenders, then they have to kind of explain that and make it known because I don't know. Um, unless they have it to where each show released is, the timeline-wise, each show released is after the events of the previous show. So, so when it was Jessica Jones, then when Luke Cage came out, it was after the events of Jessica Jones. I, it, so maybe that's how they'll explain it. Like, well, Daredevil, not Daredevil, excuse me, the Punishers were being released after the Defenders, so it takes place after the Defenders. And if that's the case, then that's okay. Um, I don't know what else to say. I mean, it looks so fucking good. I, and the fact they used one again, I called it the one. <laughs> Stupid am I. Um, but the fact they used one again in a different way, they didn't like reuse it like what they used in the first official trailer and just used it the exact same uh, thing again. They used one, but they did it a little bit differently. This was a more, more violence and more dark and emotional moments in this trailer. So I like the fact that the tone of this trailer was a lot different in my personal opinion than the first official trailer which had one as well so like the fact they used the same song twice in two different official trailers but they used the song differently in each time so that's pretty cool but yeah i mean we're we're getting pretty close it's i think this is the final trailer for the because they finally give the release date so i don't know if they're gonna give us another one but if this is it I'm good. I can't wait for this damn release of this damn show. So there you have it, guys. That's my reaction. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, what you thought about this official trailer number two for The Punisher. Whatever thoughts you have, let me know in the comments. Curious to know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching my reaction, guys. Peace out.